everybody, it's Julie from A Beautiful Horizon and today I picked up my Walmart pickup order and if you have not yet tried Walmart pickup, it might just change your life. <laughs> I have a $10 off coupon in the description box if you click the link if this is your first order and I think you have to spend $50 which is not hard for me and my family. Um, then you get $10 off and I get $10 too so it's a win-win and Honestly, I've not gone over my budget, like what is this, five or six or seven or eight times that I've used it. So I would definitely suggest trying it. I think it's amazing and it's so easy to be like, do it, it's awesome, because you should do it because it's awesome. So I'm not usually like passionate about things. I don't know, maybe I am. But I just really love this service. It's so awesome for me as a mom of three that we just go there, we sit in the parking lot, we call them, they bring my food out, and then I leave and I don't go over budget because my kids can't ask me for anything at all. And I get it done the night before so I have to go in the morning because I don't know if I'm the only one but I will put off grocery shopping as long as physically possible for like days and I just don't really like doing it. And so if I order the night before and then the next day I'm like, well I have to go get it. So I can't put it off so it always happens when I need to go. So there you go, here is what I got. All right, so I'm gonna show you the frozen stuff first so I can put it away. I decided to make life easy on myself and get a couple of things if my husband is hungry for dinner and it's kinda of late. Sometimes he comes home late and I just like, ah, I gotta make you something. So I decided to try some of these and just have them kind of as backup. I've decided to go easier on myself. I've gone through a period of trying to like make every single thing from scratch and worn myself out, so. <laughs> um, these pizza dough, um, packages are organic and very simple ingredients and my husband and I have actually been you know on the same page with them as far as liking them so it's just flour water um, canola oil which is organic and then sugar and salt so super simple ingredients and then I can do my own um, sauce and cheese which I didn't get mozzarella cheese I meant to so I got two of these and they're just a good compromise between us and then I got some avocados I have been loving avocados lately I also got some things to make anchovy what do you call it uh, Caesar dressing I'm gonna try making my own so I got anchovies in olive oil and um, and salt that's all that's in there and then here I got this Parmesan cheese because when I looked on the website, let's see if I can find the ingredients were just the milk, salt, cheese cultures, enzymes. Oh, see on here it says cellulose, powdered cellulose to prevent caking. On the website, it did not say that. So, lies. I swear, sometimes they leave off like preservatives and stuff. It's kind of weird. That happened to me before with a bread that I bought. I will link that video here if you want to watch it. <laughs> um, where it didn't have like preservatives on the website, but then when I bought it, it has powdered um, cellulose, which is like wood pulp or something. I don't know. Um, so, oh well, lies. And then I got garlic because the Caesar dressing recipe calls for garlic. And I can use it obviously for other things too. And then this. Um, I've seen people get these before. Um, I've never tried them, but it takes forever to make uh, breaded chicken. <laughs> Not forever, but I don't like the oily, like, deal everywhere when you make them They're very messy so I thought I'd try these and we'll see how it goes um, they just have simple ingredients and they try to like take care of their chickens a little better than some um, companies apparently so that's why I try to buy Applegate um, it says humanely raised so obviously they're still dying in the end but I try to like think about the animals a bit too even though I'm still gonna eat meat so anyway I'm gonna try those, see if we like them, or see if my husband likes them. Again, another like quick meal that I know he'll like, and um, then I don't have to like freak out if I wasn't prepared for dinner one night or something. I don't suggest the spread, but my husband likes it, so I buy it. The ingredients aren't great, <laughs> but um, and then I get these natural choice. I that was my fault. I did that, um, and then yeah, because these have pretty simple ingredients. I I prefer Applegate, but I don't think they had it there. So these are pretty simple. They do have carrageenan, which some people say is like not good or some people are sensitive to it. This one doesn't have carrageenan and this is the ham one. The turkey one does, 
but you know, gotta pick your battle sometimes. I got this turkey sausage, which I don't think is like, you know, perfectly ideal, but at least the um, ingredients are pretty simple. Spices might contain MSG. I don't know, I don't think it used to say spices. Here is our Sunday bacon. So we do usually um, sausage cheese balls on Saturday and bacon on Sunday, but. Apples, kiwi, broccoli. I've been want loving broccoli just with butter and salt lately. Yum. Lots of peaches here. Some pears, trying to get more fruit. I feel like I haven't been getting like a lot of fruit lately and I just love having the kids snack on fruit. I feel like it's so good for them. We got celery and carrots. We got cucumber, these are so good. And then also bought some hummus, which I have made hummus in the past, but like I said, I'm trying just to be easier on myself and just have some simple, easy options for those times when you just need something. So this is pretty simple, it's organic and stuff. So we're gonna try this. I think they had different flavors, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't something spicy. So we're gonna try this one. We got creamer. I always get this kind. Um, I got this honey, it's from Florida. Oh, that's cool. A portion of the proceeds goes towards promoting, protecting, and prolonging pollination. Because I know everybody's worried about the bees lately dying off. Probably a lot of um, issues here in Florida are because we're spraying for mosquitoes and it kills bees. We were talking to a beekeeper, my mom and I, and he was saying that a lot of his bees die after the city or county or whatever sprays for mosquitoes, so that's a problem here. I got some salt. Um, I actually am gonna be using this for like a scrub, for like a body scrub or like a face scrub. Um, I like to get the um, mineral salt to eat, but I like to use this for like scrubs and stuff because it doesn't really matter. Got some tuna, I got wild planet, skipjack tuna. Apparently skipjack has the least mercury of all the tunas. And um, it's just the tuna and salt. So I like to get just like really plain ones. I'm not sure what they use when they make like the broth that they put in some of them. So I usually just get it with water instead of broth. And it's all those safe things. So that's cool, I guess. It's definitely more expensive than the cheap kind, but I've always said like food is somewhere where I choose to invest my money. Um, I try to do it wisely, but it is somewhere where it's not a goal of mine to spend as little as possible. And that's just my preference. So I got some basil. I wanted to make some pesto and hopefully it, it'll live longer than, you know, one harvest. We'll see. I'm not very good at keeping herbs alive. so. We'll see how long I can make these things last. Oh, and then lastly, I got, my son already got a hold of this, but I got these Uno cards. My husband and I have been doing like a little at-home date night on Friday nights, and we'll do like, um, we'll have a, like, a list of questions, and we can like, you know, just answer questions, or like, would you rather questions, or have you ever, or like, just Googling those kind of like questions for couples. And this week I thought it'd be fun to just play Uno together. We haven't played Uno in like so long. I think we used to play it or we've played it before and both enjoyed it. So I'm gonna try to get some little like games and stuff that we could just play and just like reconnect, you know, like the week goes by so fast and um, get so busy. So I thought it'd be fun just to play a game of cards. And um, we try to do something every Friday night, even if it's not going somewhere. <laughs> it's usually not going somewhere. Maybe it's just like watching a movie or playing a game. So if you all have any like easy card games that are like fun that you could play with your spouse or something for date night, let me know in the comments or something that you do at home for free because we usually do free at home date nights right now with our kids being the ages that they are. Someday we'll invest in like, you know, going out and stuff. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's everything I got. Let me know what are your favorite things to get from the grocery store and definitely check out that link in the description box if you want $10 off your first order. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this face. I mean, come on. I will see you in my next video. Bye!